Hello and welcome to your October 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower Readings. Please like, subscribe and share. If you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, please remember, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with all of you. You take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. Now, if you want um, a personal reading, either via WhatsApp a video call or via Messenger video call or via old-fashioned Skype, <laughs> the information uh, how we can get this done is in the description box below. Now, there's a lot of other information I want to just uh, give you uh, in October before we then get into your reading, as it were. So one thing is, I am currently um, really trying to be a bit more uh, present um, when it comes to social media and online. So you have noticed that I have recorded or, or started recording, started recording um, more videos, you know, um, you know, about the retrogrades um, and all that kind of stuff. Obviously, you have the full moon and new moon readings. Um, sometimes you, there are love life, <coughs> excuse me, love life readings, all that kind of stuff. But I'm also now a an executive contributor for the Brains magazine. They handpick people for their knowledge, and so I'm really honored that they um, contacted me. And um, so I have agreed to uh, exclusively, so to speak, um, write for the Brains magazine. You can find the link to my articles and to all the other articles that are there um, in the description box below. Lastly, we have a really, really great special offer just for my viewers this month. So if you want to back yourself 10% um, off for a photo shoot, um, if you are into um, maybe wanting uh, new pictures, you also find the 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 um, information for this in the description box below. But at the end of this video, sort of to speak, after you are reading, as it were, um, there is a little ninety second segment, ninety second segment. Is that how you pronounce it? Ninety second segment <laughs> about um, photography by Kate and how you can back yourself 10% off, provided you book in November. In any case, um, please like, subscribe and share. Use all the um, <coughs> amazing things that I just mentioned. You know, um, especially I want you to look at the, the Brain magazine that I now write for. Um, it's always very interesting. It's oftentimes uh, also related to, obviously, uh, what I do, so it's about healing and it also is about astrology, all that kind of stuff. So, um, wouldn't necessarily call it same old, same old, but it builds on what I already do for a living. And since you have found that channel, you may find all this quite interesting. Without further ado, let's go into your reading for the month of October 2023. You are watching Thomas Star Readings. Please like, subscribe, and share. And here is your reading. Cancerians, hello. So, what we do here, as usual, we divide the reading excuse me, into sections, so it's a bit easier to understand. We will look at the overall energy for the month of October 2023 for the sign of Cancer. Before we then look at your emotional core, see if there's healing that needs to happen, or if there's love coming in, that sort of thing. Before we then lastly look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of October, I'm drawn to using my Astro Dice for this reading. Let's have a look. This is for your, um, this is the overall energy for your very sign of Cancerians. Let's look what you got. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it's not all bad, but it is difficult to a certain extent. What you have? You have the South Node, you have the Sixth House or the number six, and you have the energy of Taurus. Now, 
what the guides are asking you in the months of October some ancestral stuff will come up that actually is karmic so the premise is that you choose to whom you're being born um, you know where and when so you choose your family you choose your ancestor but the imprint of cancerians is and the agreement for cancer is to come here and look at the male side of the ancestry quite strongly so if you are a person that had a loving father that will have and will aid you out, uh, throughout life if you are a person that grew up without a sounds wrong proper male um, role model that will affect you also in your relationships now that said the first energy that you have is the south node the south node is telling you there's stuff coming up that is karmic that might not necessarily mean it is your karma but sometimes we meet people that um, have contracts with us and then sometimes we have to be there uh, hoping that they could be a better version of themselves point is you are asked to understand whatever and whoever is around you that is male so if you are male it would be uh, either either a relative uh, or even a good friend or workmate if that makes sense um, and if you are a female it is the same could be uh, a first degree relative could be a partner that all the stuff the point is karmic stuff is here to be released and here's how this all works you have the sixth house in this case i do not see the sixth house i see the number six and because we're dealing with elements and you are a water sign the element the sixth element that we're no longer really using in astrology is ether and ether is believed to have been the first ever element that sort of shaped itself um, and it's ether and ether means in a roundabout way ether is the element of glue ether is the element of holding on to things that are not really working and then your outgoing uh, energy here is taurus so what the guides are saying to you really really important is don't hold on to people and i'm getting people i'm not getting i'm not getting uh, um, situations or work related stuff um, that are and have been super challenging and are really not for you now the interesting thing is with, with the outgoing energy of of taurus taurus also is very family oriented so you have that in common with um with taurus to be uh, a person that came here to look at family if that makes sense or make family work and because you have taurus as the outgoing energy what the, what the universe is saying to you look at home look at family look at what's going on there and here's the thing if you are a person that is now um doesn't live at home anymore uh, they're not asking you to necessarily reach out and it's not necessarily at least for some of you not necessarily that you have to be in touch with family because it might not necessarily be just about family if there's anything that you that you need to release right the the universe will send you something here's how this works when it comes to ancestry you choose to be born to whom and where and when that kind of stuff so you choose your ancestors and when you come here you are responsible for your ancestors healing for seven generations so sounds a bit weird but if you go back seven generations that's about 230 years um, and you will notice then that whatever they had to go through that hasn't been released the universe will send you so if you are looking at it historically and there is a lot of people you know back in the day uh, women for instance that couldn't really leave an abusive relationship because there was no social welfare and even their mum would have been too embarrassed to take him in that sort of stuff um the universe will then send you a narcissistic energy so you can tell them to f off uh, so that would then mean that your ancestors 
have freed themselves from it. So the point I'm making here is, kind of long story short, there's a lot of stuff here in your overall energy that is karmic but has to do with male energy of your family. And because you have Taurus on the outside, Taurus is depicted by the bull. They are, they are not asking you to be the bull in the china shop. They're asking you to have boundaries. Really, really important. Maybe not communicating, maybe not arguing is the way to go. Right. So that is your overall energy for the months of October 2023. Now let me just change stuff here. I just want to... Here we go. Hello. <laughs> I was just drawn to using the... Um, the astral dice for uh, your overall energy. Now that we're looking into your emotional core, I still might use them, um, but I do understand that that it's difficult to just look at three dice that sort of lie there, and I have no idea how well you could actually see them. While my face is not ex not necessarily nicer than the three dice, it is more personal, isn't it, when a person talks to you, and you are a person, and I am a person. Anyway, I'm still drawn to using the astral dice, and now we're looking at your emotional core, for the um, the month of October, and your emotional core is about whether or not there's healing that needs to happen, whether or not there's love coming in, that sort of stuff. Let's have a look what you got. Right. Oh, gosh. <laughs> right, okay, let me just explain this to you. Um, here you have the sun, right? Then you have the sixth house and six or ether again. And you have Aquarius. Now, you are the only sign in our zodiac wheel that is governed by the moon. But here, in your emotional core, you have the energy of the sun. Now, the sun and the moon have never shared space well, because where they overlap, they change the energy and this is then where eclipses can happen, if that makes sense. So, for instance, in the birth chart, what we want for what we want to see is for them to be far apart. It's quite simple. I actually use this as my tagline. The sun is the ruler of the day. The moon is the ruler of the night. But you are the ruler of your own destiny. And that rings through here quite a bit. The point the guides are making is you are governed by the moon. Therefore, you are by default a very emotional sign. Now, when the sun comes in, which is much more forceful. What they're saying to you is, while we're not always gelling well, you could do and would do with a bit of my strength. So the sun, in this case, the positive thing, will give you a lot of extra strength to look at your emotional core. So I'm not getting that you need to do a lot of feeling. Should you be in a relationship, what I'm getting is, again, we talked about this in the overall energy, is to, does it really make sense for me to hang on to things? And should you not be in a relationship, maybe you have now stopped trusting people because of whatever you have been through. And that is another pattern that you will have to release. Now, the interesting thing is on the outside, outside energy here, you have the energy of Aquarius. Now, Aquarius has aqua or water in the name, but is not a water sign. And that only affects certain Aquarians, but because it is in your, in your energy, the, the message here is that you are a water sign. You should not be feeling confused at any time when it comes to you, sounds wrong, choosing partners, figuring out how to make a relationship work. But Aquarius is also known as the water bearer, the giver. And when it comes to not holding on, which is sort of the main message here for you in relationships, so that doesn't mean that they're asking you to just, uh, you know, let people go. I'm not getting that. But the point is, whatever is not working in your relationship or in the way you manifest new relationships, that is no longer helpful and needs to go. The sun will support you by being in your face about it because the sun and the moon do not share space well. But Aquarius on the outside is saying to you, whatever you need to change, whatever you must change, whatever you are now thinking about, 
has to be done from a giving point of view, from a point of understanding. And the difficulty here is that the sun and, and, and that giving part, Aquarius, are separated here by, um, or why are the, the, the element of glue? So the middle here is about, I want to hold on. The other two are saying this, no, you shouldn't. But one is a very kind, I'm giving you uh, all the support you need energy. And the other one is saying, like, no, piss off. Right? So what you will find in October, uh, very likely, Cancerians, is maybe being a bit torn and maybe a bit unsure or even insecure about how to deal with relationships that are not really flowing. And it is important to flow. You are governed by the moon. You are by default a super emotional uh, a sign. And so therefore, how you're, how you're feeling, um, how carried and how, 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 how carried for um, and, and how loved you, are, you feel is super important uh, for, for you. So this is the main focus here I, uh, in this reading, I, I, I find energetically speaking, is to focus on your relationships and see, you know, what needs to be tweaked, how can it be tweaked, but you will find yourself, confused is the wrong word, but that's just what I'm getting, because you have the sun on the one hand side, who's really like, well, yeah, let's kick some ass here, and then you have a quarry, so like, yeah, okay, let's not kick ass, let's just see if we can discuss this by me giving you all the support you may need for us to make changes, if that makes sense, right? So the point is, you will be very likely uh, conflicted. Therefore, Trust your intuition. Go with the flow. Okay? That was your um, emotional core. Lastly, we will look at um, opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of October 2023. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> okay. You have the third house, you have the number three. You have the energy of Chiron, Chiron, the wounded healer, right in the middle. And you have the energy of, of Venus on the outside. Now remember, Cancerians, you are governed by Venus. When it comes to opportunities, only allow opportunities in that are really for you. So if you are a person that is a bit, uh, you know, despairing and maybe you're looking for something, uh, you know, to, 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 to sort of, I'm getting this about finance, finances here, about sort of boosting your income by doing some other shitty job, you know, on the side or something. This is not the time to hustle at all. Um, the third house is saying, you know, there is a progression. And so progressively, you need to reflect on what is it I really want to do. And what I'm getting strongly is, is to actually... It's just the way my guides talk. And it's, it sounds in your face, but they're asking you to put the work in. If you always wanted to do something else, but you don't know how, then you say to the universe, okay, well, you know, um, help me to be able to, um, you know, book that course and then learn whatever it is you want to do and do it. What I'm getting here is there is an energy here for you Cancerians, uh, or at least for some of you, this is a general reading, obviously. So it resonates uh, you know, not for everybody, that makes sense. Point being, your job here is to understand because you have the wounded healer as the middle, which means the most important energy when it comes to opportunities, don't do stuff that has hurt you before. Don't do things that have drained you before. So the way I'm getting this, it's just the way they show it to me. They're, they're showing me uh, someone going back to work but it's not really well. And then, you know, uh, so it's a, like, a, like a big shop that I'm seeing, you know, and it's not the most um, rewarding, but it's not bad either. All I'm seeing you do here in my vision is, um, you know, put stuff in shelves. Uh, but the way they show it to me is like there's, there's pain in your hands and then there is no letters and it's all too high and nobody gives a fuck. Uh, you know, you just need to do your job. The point is, as the person that is already sort of wounded, it is time for you to reflect on how much does the work 
you either want to do or are doing really help you out right uh, in in sustaining yourself and feeling great about what it is you do um, and then you have the energy of venus your own governing planet on the outside and so what the guides are saying is super important um, unless you feel cared for comes up here quite a bit in your reading um, when it comes to opportunities as well you know so if someone offers you something right if you say i want to progress see where i'm going here Anything that is happening for you has to feel personal. Whoever wants to work with you, if you put a CV in somewhere and then they have a conversation, make sure they're not just looking for anybody, anyone for that job. Make sure they understand if they reply to your uh, you know, application or whatever this is here. Um, they have to talk to you as a person and as an individual person and they have to listen to you and connect to you so don't just be a number okay so all that said it sounded a bit um difficult and i wouldn't say it's not going to be uh, difficult but it doesn't mean it feels oppressive it just feels that you have to do anything and everything you do with a bit more determination and say like you know where am i in the scheme of things you know, what does that do to me? And then, you know, also what I'm getting is to choose your battles wisely. Okay, Cancerians, thank you so much for watching. And I mentioned this earlier in this uh, rather long intro for this month, because there's loads of changes. Um, if you are in the, uh, if you are interested in, in having new pictures taken, you know, want to do uh, something new, you know, for your, you know, social media or for whatever it is you do. The point is, if you are interested in, in, in getting new pictures done, you know, we have a special offer just for this month. Coming up now um, is a, is a, is a little segment, a little promotional uh, segment, uh, and you can back yourself 10% off should you look for a photographer at this point in time. Right? Thank you so much for watching, and I see you next time. Exclusively, just for the viewers of this channel, you can back yourself a 10% off deal provided you book your photo shoot session with Photography by Kate for the month or in the month of October 2023. There is no code or anything. Just tell her you saw it on Thomas Tower readings um, and then you get your 10% off. Anyway, let's have a look at, you know, you can obviously see uh, all the pictures um, that Kate took. Um, these pictures were all taken because I want to, um, you know, I thought I would like to have some new pictures and um, they obviously have to represent who I am. And so obviously I had them taken uh, at the chase. Amazing. And look at how awesome the pictures turned out. So especially for and only for the viewers of this channel. There's a special offer, 10% off, provided you book with Kate and Photography by Kate in the month of October 2023. That is a special offer just for the viewers of this very channel. Anyway, enjoy. Please make sure you get in touch. The information uh, for Photography by Kate is in the description box below. Have fun, guys.